Hey everyone, welcome back. This video, I wanna talk about methods. So you got your first taste of methods here when we created this init, and this is invoked when we create a new object, such as here. However, we have the ability to create other methods inside of our class. So an example of this might be to check if a book is considered long. And yeah, I know a long book is subjective, but just for learning's sake, we're gonna say a long book is anything over 100 pages. Cause honestly, my attention span is like the size of, uh, what was I saying? Anyways, we're just gonna say is long. And anytime we create a method, we have to put a parameter here, self. Now inside of this method, all we have to do is return true or false. So we'll say if, oh, now I just thought of something. We don't actually have a way to see how many pages this book is. So that's another thing we can set up here. So not only is a book gonna have a title, but it's also gonna have a number of pages. And then we just say self.pages is set to pages. So that's gonna be passed in when we create our object. So comma, we'll just go with 72. So now we have a book called Are You My Mother? and it's 72 pages long. Inside of here, we can reference that by saying self.pages. If it's greater than 100, what are we gonna do? We're gonna return true. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. All right, so now down here, not only can we print the book title, but we can actually print book.isLong and invoke it like a function because methods are just functions attached to objects. So this is a method by terminology. So functions and methods are the same thing, it's just what it's attached to. It's attached to an object. So what about this parameter here, self? We actually don't have to pass anything into that. It's implicit. So self refers to the object we're invoking it on. So we don't actually have to pass anything in here. Same thing for this initializer here. We're passing in title and pages. Are you my mother, 72? But we're not passing anything to self. We don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's run this. And it looks like we get false. That's because the book is 72 pages. However, if it was 720 pages, better believe I ain't reading that. So now it is true. It's kind of funny though, because literally every programming book is like a thousand plus pages and I'm, I use a stack of them to hold my laptop up. So. so if you find yourself reading 100 page books, consider yourself lucky. All right, so that is your introduction to methods. Again, this is going to be independent for each book. So what that means is I could actually create another book, book two. We're gonna create it the same way, but now we're gonna use a different name and let's just for a second just say test 200. And now let's print book book2.isLong. So notice that this method is available on book and it's available on book two. Any object of type book is gonna have this method. Running it and we get true for this one because it's 200 pages. So there you go guys, that's your introduction to methods. Stay tuned because we're gonna be learning more about object-oriented programming.